this moment, a very large portion of our population is walking around with an undiagnosed thyroid issue. And 50% of patients that go to their doctor with thyroid symptoms or complaints have normal blood panels, meaning their thyroid blood panel or thyroid markers come back normal. So they go to their doctor with severe thyroid symptoms, overwhelming fatigue, stubborn weight loss, circulation issues, depression, foggy headedness, poor memory, all of these types of things. And unfortunately, it never gets properly diagnosed or addressed. If you have any of the symptoms that I just mentioned regarding the thyroid, then there is a high likelihood that you have nutritional deficiencies that need to be supplied. And when those are addressed, it's going to transform your thyroid and transform your health. And I'm going to come at you right now with five tips to make this happen. Let me tell you about a patient of mine named Susie who came to me about 15 years ago. She had severe fatigue. She had thinning hair. She had very bad depression. She had a difficulty losing weight, very, very poor circulation. And she had these morning headaches that would wear off during the day. She'd wake up with a headache every morning and it just sort of tapered off throughout the day and she couldn't figure it out. This happens to be a telltale sign of underactive thyroid function. When I got her on the proper whole food supplements and herbs to supply the genuine replacement parts to rebuild her thyroid, and we tweaked her diet, got her off some sugar, gave her some dietary recommendations, she no longer had any of those symptoms. Her energy level improved, she started to lose some weight, her circulation improved, her brain fog cleared up, and she was just really back in life, living it at a high level again. And to top it off, she was taking off her antidepressant because the actual cause of her depression was an underactive thyroid. It wasn't a Prozac deficiency. It was a nutritional deficiency, herbal support that was needed to support that thyroid to get it functioning as nature intended. And then that depression lifted. So before we get into the five tips to addressing thyroid issues, let's talk about what the thyroid actually is. So the thyroid is an endocrine gland. Endocrine glands make hormones, and this particular gland called the thyroid is right here in your neck, and it almost looks like the shape of a butterfly. And its purpose is to regulate your metabolism and the heat of your body. So it acts as a thermostat, making sure that the body temperature is correct. When it's under functioning, one of the symptoms is you're going to feel cold, okay? It also regulates your metabolism and helps you burn fuel for energy. So if it's under functioning, which is the main purpose or focus of this video is an underactive thyroid, because that's really the overwhelming uh, issue with most thyroids today. There is an overactive thyroid issue, but we're gonna focus on the underactive today in this video. Anyways, that metabolism, when, when that thyroid's under functioning, you're gonna have a difficult time burning energy, having energy, losing weight, these types of things. So I gave you a summary of what the thyroid is, how it functions, in general, what some of the symptoms are, especially of hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid function. Uh, let's get into these tips. But before we do, we're gonna be talking about whole food supplements and their benefits. Maybe you've tried other supplements before for your thyroid or other health conditions, and maybe you didn't get the result that you wanted. Well, I've been using whole food supplements in my practice for close to 25 years now. I actually grow up, grew up taking them from my chiropractor. Uh, so I have lots of personal experience and clinical experience with treating thousands of patients over the years. And you just really don't understand the benefit of whole food supplements until you incorporate them in your life. Unfortunately, our soil is depleted. Our soil has been depleted of minerals for many, many, many years. There are only a few scarce minerals in our soil. So even though you might be eating a variety of fruits, vegetables, and other foods that you think are rich in nutrients, unfortunately, our food just doesn't have what we need. That's why we need to supply or supplement it with whole food supplements. 
And there is a huge difference between whole food supplements and synthetic supplements, which pretty much 90% of the supplements out there that you buy at Vitamin Shop or other big chain stores, uh, you're going to get synthetics. Synthetics aren't as absorbable. Uh, you're not getting the full complex that food gives you. So when you eat uh, an orange, you're getting the whole complex vitamin C. When you're taking 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C from Walgreens, you're basically getting 1,000 milligrams of ascorbic acid, and that's basically a chemical that's cheap to make. It's basically eating the shell of an egg and expecting to get all the nutrients that the inside of that shell, the egg itself, is going to give you. You're just not getting it, but it's cheap to produce, so that's why it's produced. Uh, when you're getting whole food concentrates, like the, the supplements I'm going to mention uh, just shortly here, you just can't compare. The, you just can't compare the two. There's no comparison. Um, you're getting whole food, nutrient-rich supplements grown up in Palmyra, Wisconsin, in the Standard Process Farm, and it has eight inches of topsoil. They're the leaders in organic farming. They rotate their crops, they put dense nutrients in the soil, and you're getting the actual food concentrated in pill form. When you're taking a whole food supplement from Standard Process, their farming methods are unbelievable and unsurpassed. They are the leaders in organic farming. They have up to eight inches of topsoil, they rotate their crops, uh, the majority of what they put in their supplements, in their whole food supplements, they grow themselves. So in a perfect world, we would all be eating these foods and getting these nutrients regularly, but we don't live in a perfect world. We live off of nutrient deficient soil. Even if we're eating perfect organic and a variety of things, which most people aren't, we're not going to get the nutrients that we need, let alone, you know, what is the, the basic American diet these days. You know, there's a lot of fast food, processed food, toxins, poisons, food colorants, food preservatives, you know, all the bad stuff which we could talk about and that's for another video. So let's get into these tips. My first tip, Phytrophin PMG, pairing that with organically bound minerals. So Phytrophin PMG, organically bound minerals, can't tell you how many thyroid patients I've helped over the years with these two products. Uh, these provide the genuine replacement parts to rebuild and regenerate your thyroid. Uh, thytrophin is a glandular extract and it's actually uh, an extract from the nucleus of a glandular cell from bovine. And what's interesting about it is when you ingest this, it gives your thyroid rest and repair time. Not only is it going to help your, it repair, but it's going to give it rest. Uh, sometimes we have a low-grade autoimmune condition uh, when our, our glands aren't working like they should, and this thytrophin acts like a decoy, and it sort of uh, distracts the, the immune system. So instead of attacking the thyroid at a very low-grade functional level, okay, uh, what it's doing is it's acting in a decoy and allowing this rest and repair. And it's a complex mechanism, but uh, I'm telling you, thytrophin is phenomenal. I've helped so many underactive thyroids improve people's energy, uh, halt hair loss, especially in females, and many, many, many other health conditions uh, thyroid related. Organically bound minerals provides the mineral support for the thyroid. So the thytrophin provides the glandular and then you need that mineral support. And one key mineral for the thyroid is iodine. Uh, actually, thyroid hormone has iodine in it, in that hormone itself. And we have T4 and T3. Uh, T4 is the inactive form of thyroid hormone, and it's basically uh, four iodines connected, that's why they call it T4. And T3 is the active form which what happens is you need zinc and selenium, those two minerals, to actually cleave off or chop off one of those iodines and that causes the inactive form of thyroid hormone to become active. So the pairing of thytrophin with organically bound minerals is usually needed. That synergy really helps give the thyroid what it needs. Hey, if you've learned anything 
thus far in this video, please make a comment below, let me know. And if you'd like to subscribe or like this YouTube station, we'd love to have you. Okay, next tip, thyroid complex from MediHerb. MediHerb is a sister company from Standard Process and they provide the herbal support for the thyroid. So you have the glandular and the mineral support with the thytrophin and organically bound minerals. And then this really completes a triad. Uh, this has bladder rack, ashwagandha, and bacopa. And these herbs help regulate thyroid function. Um, ashwagandha also is a really good modulator for your stress handling glands. Uh, bacopa is great for thyroid function, but also helps with brain support. And that bladder rack is, is the main constituent here that supports the thyroid. The other two uh, are synergistically supporting the thyroid as well. Can't say enough about uh, thyroid complex. Um, just had several patients in the last couple months uh, that have noted that this has been the game changer for them that really put them over the top for improving their energy level and decreasing uh, their stubborn weight loss. And you know, stubborn weight loss, especially in the female population and women over 40, it's an epidemic right now. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that, but one is they could have just a low-grade underactive thyroid. That metabolism is just not kicking in. So when you try this triad, thytrophin, organically bound minerals, thyroid complex, you should see good results. This next tip is for people that have a very severe underactive thyroid. Um, you're really, really fatigued you are definitely losing hair. And I don't mean uh, you know male, pal male pattern baldness, that type of thing. I just mean, especially in females, your, your hair is thinning, it's falling out. Um, you're very tired, you're very cold. Um, you have morning headaches. You're losing the outer portion of your eyes. When, it, when you have severe symptoms, you wanna look at a higher dose of iodine and prolamine iodine is phenomenal for this. So the organically bound minerals that we talked about is a whole food iodine source. Um, this has a, a special type of iodine in more concentrated form. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give, it's almost like a spark plug, right? It's the spark that really kicks in the thyroid. And this is more of a short-term product. I put patients on this for a month, maybe two, and then we'll graduate them into organically bound minerals. So if you're really, really tapped out and you feel like your thyroid is really under functioning, you may want to get started with the prolamine iodine along with the thytrophin and the thyroid complex. Next tip for thyroid issues, you need to avoid gluten. Gluten containing foods block thyroid functions and they can actually contribute to an autoimmune condition in the thyroid called Hashimoto's. So if you have that diagnosis, you definitely need to avoid gluten-containing foods. Uh, wheat, oats, barley, and any other gluten-containing foods. You need to minimize chemical exposure. Cleaners, detergents, cosmetics, shampoos, these types of things, Glade plug-ins, spraying Febreze, uh, you know, those little, the, deodorizer things that hang on your rear view mirror for your car. You need to get that out of your life. That stuff is going to block thyroid function, among other things. Go with non-toxic cleaners, detergents, soaps, and the like. Let me know in the comments below if you've made any changes with your chemical exposure to help your health. Before we get into the last tip, I just want to circle back to a key symptom that the thyroid is involved with, and that's stubborn weight loss, especially in females over 40. Uh, I mean, there isn't a week goes by that I don't see uh, a new patient in the clinic, a uh, female patient that is struggling with weight gain over 40. And the thyroid and its function can be a key factor that can unlock this riddle of your stubborn weight loss. Uh, what I'd like to do also is offer you in the description below, I have a PDF on five tips to handle stubborn weight loss. So take a look at that as well. Okay, let's get into the last tip to handle an underactive thyroid. We're gonna talk about food now. What I'd like you to do is eat 
three servings minimum of fish per week, preferably ocean caught, fresh water, not farm raised, okay? What is, it, what is this gonna do? Well, it's gonna provide you with essential fatty acids, which are precursors to making hormones. What does the thyroid do? It makes thyroxin, which is the thyroid hormone. Also, I'd like you to eat Brazil nuts a few times a week. A serving of Brazil nuts is gonna give you uh, your proper amounts of selenium. And selenium is really, really critical as a mineral for converting the inactive thyroid hormone to the active form. And the active form is what you know, creates metabolism and gets things moving in the body. If you're deficient in selenium, you're not gonna be able to convert the inactive thyroid hormone to the active form. And lastly, seaweed, you know, those dried seaweed little sheets that you can purchase, those are great snacks and that's gonna provide you with more nutrients for the thyroid. If you, a friend or a loved one, is struggling with these thyroid issues, please apply these principles. The recommendations that I made today are extremely effective. I've used them in my clinic for the past 25 years, got fantastic results. We've made it very easy for you to order these products. Uh, you can just go in the description below uh, into our Shopify store. And if you order over $100, there's free shipping. These products are very economical, just so you know. So check them out. And also check out my next video. It's gonna be on GERD, acid reflux, and heartburn.